So this is a different, so unfortunately the guys from the Conquer team couldn't be here to this week, so we, we missed them here, but uh, this is a different acquisition story, uh, how they came to being our customer. Uh, Conquer, uh, the, the team that, was, uh, that ended up deploying WSO2, a, had wanted to start a SOA project at the time, and he went to their management or whatever and said, you know, we want to do this uh, SOA thing and we, we need some budget. And they had said, uh, sorry, no money, right? No, I can't do it, no money. So then, uh, his name is Brad Swee, Brad's not in Conquer anymore. Brad had uh, then attended OSCON, and that year we had a booth in OSCON. This was, uh, so it was 2006 or seven, I can't remember. And I guess he had come to a booth, we didn't know he had come to a booth. He had come to a booth or whatever, and he had found that oh, there's some open source stuff here. And uh, so when he went back, uh, back to work on Monday uh, the next week, he had downloaded the product, and then he started using it. And in fact, they, they never got any help from us. They did everything by themselves. Uh, and they booted up and started running, and they were basically using our open source version. Right? And about a year later, they wanted to do some additional, more advanced stuff. And they, Brad contacted us and said, we, we need to engage with you guys on a commercial basis. And, and by then, I think they ended up using the application server and the ESP and, and some other things at the time. Uh, and later on, and now they are a big customer, they also do some API management and so forth. But, uh, so this is a, a sort of a different story. This is like an open source, uh, again, open source was key for us in getting off the ground uh, to getting Conquer going, and, uh, uh, and it was a, a, a great story of how, uh, even if you don't have any budget, if you really want to do something, uh, in today's technology world, it's not an issue. Because literally every piece of software is available free of charge from somebody. Right? If not WS2, there's so many other options as well. But there's you know, really good software available free of charge, and you can do whatever you want with it. And of course, since then, uh, they've been a paying customer for 10 years. So we only recognize some people we know who have been actually continuous paying customers for 10 years. So Conquer started using it even before that. Uh, and then they've been a paying customer for 10 years of ours. So, so again, uh, thank you very much to Conquer. I know they're not here, but uh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, uh, so I just, want to, uh, I just want to mention something about open source before I, I, I wrap up, uh, and I'll give it back to Shara. Um, somebody asked me, I was sitting outside at the Ballerina booth, and someone came and asked me, uh, this open source thing, are you guys like, going to keep this up kind of question, right? So we've been going for 12, this is our 12th year now, and, a, and I was like, what do you mean? You know, like, what do you mean keep it up? Right? You know, how, how long are you going to keep it open source? What's the risk of what's the likelihood of not being open source? So then I told him our philosophy and how we came about and how we wouldn't be here if not for open source. So this is never going to change. That's not, not as, that's not what WS2 is, right? So software, uh, WS2 has made a, a, a working business, a scaling business with a pure open source model. The only other company that's done this is Red Hat. Every other company in the world which has a quote unquote open source thing is not really open source. There's something open source usually, but not completely open source. Red Hat is genuinely open source. So hats off to Red Hat. Um, they've done a good job uh, getting, getting that done, and you know, they're growing really well, they're 3 billion revenue or something like that. Uh, but uh, we are very, very serious about open source. We, we love the fact that we have many customers who don't pay us and use our stuff and give us feedback and complain and you know, write random articles. I think you, if you might have been here, uh, I don't know if you heard the Uber talk. Uh, Uber is using our CEP engine, right? And, uh, if, uh, and the way we found out about it, they're not a customer. We never called them. They never called us. We found out because somebody, they, I think it was the same engineer who had given a talk at some conference. And someone saw a tweet or you know, Google search or whatever which said, oh, there's a slide deck by Uber which says, you know, the, the Siddhi stuff on it. That's how we found out about it, right? Then we reached out and said, can you give a talk at the WC conference? They were very nicely obliged to come and give a talk. We really appreciate that. That's, that's a key part of open source, is that you don't have to, you know, there are many ways of quote unquote paying for open source. One of the ways is telling other people we use it and, and it works and it doesn't work and this is the problems and this is the good stuff and so forth. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is not something that's gonna go away. This is a fundamental part of what this company is all about. So with that, I'm gonna stop. Um,